Uh, Chad's looks like S N O N. Snow. The snow. Chairman Wilson and members of the board, thank you for uh, the opportunity to address this. And first of all, I want to commend the board uh, for last month's uh, action denying uh, the acceptance of the donations to, to backfill uh, this further investigation. I've been coming here as a, as a private citizen and as a member of Citizens for a Better Arizona for the better part of four years now, and I felt like it was the first time that the board drew a line in the sand and, and told the sheriff, you know, we are going to hold you uh, fiscally accountable, and I want to commend you for that. Um, $10,000 when compared to the tens of millions of dollars that Sheriff Arpaio has misspent, has illegally uh, misused, may seem like a small amount, but I think it's important to note, I know uh, this board and county government in general has kind of tried to bury the hatchet with the Sheriff's Office, and there has been, since Dave Hendershot has left, there has been, uh, it seems like, a, a new uh, regime change over there at the Sheriff's Office, but I think this is important evidence that Joe Arpaio is still willing to break county policy, as Ms. O'Connor mentioned, uh, he did break a county policy that requires him to uh, get approval for uh, travel outside of the continental United States. He's still willing to break that policy, and he's still willing to illegally misuse large amounts of county dollars. And so you can pretend like the, uh, the hatchet has been buried with the sheriff's office all you want, but I want to call specifically today uh, on Chairman Wilson and uh, Supervisor Brock. I know you weren't uh, around for the last visit. I want to call on you to take a stand, to let this be your legacy of standing up for fiscal uh, accountability and let Sheriff Arpaio know that this board still does control his purse strings. Thank you very much. Thank you.